Hey guys, Lost Joker here, and I'm just going to do a quick video of how to install StarCraft Mass Recall. Um, StarCraft Mass Recall is an HD modern graphics remake of the original StarCraft and Brood War campaign. It also has some new features and some hidden missions that were put in, along with some other extras that um, I haven't seen. The last time I did, played this, it was uh, a couple years ago. And it wasn't as updated as it is now. They even have the campaign cinematics in the game now, I'm told. I haven't played it yet. But that wasn't part of it when I first played. And that really was my only complaint. Was that the cinematics weren't there. And now they are. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. I just finished my StarCraft 2 gameplay videos. And I, I'm still like craving StarCraft. So I wanted to go back and play the original. So I thought this was a great way, and I know some people have problems installing stuff, so I just wanted to go over how to do it, because this one's really really easy. You can just Google StarCraft HD Remake, StarCraft 1 Remake. It's this one right here, StarCraft Mass Recall. StarCraft2Mapster.com is a good site for it. So anyway, you go on this, scroll down a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Downloads. Version 6.2.1, that's the that's the current version. <clears throat> You're going to download, I'll open each tab here. Legacy Edition Installer, Mod, Map Pack, Map Pack, Retro Add-on, I like to use, even though I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, English, and the Cinematic Add-on. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven files these six are going to be zip files just download them and then this one is going to be a command file and they're all going to go into your downloads folder now i already did it so i'm not going to do it again because it takes a while to download they'll all go into your downloads folder and then this is very easy all you need to do is find your starcraft 2 folder in your program file so first go to your computer program files, I, mine are in x86, yours could be in this one, but mine are in here, StarCraft 2, that's it, now see they're already in here, you take everything you just downloaded, the installer plus the six zip files, and you just copy and paste them into this folder, and then what you do is you double click this, I'm just going to do, I guess it would be fine if I do it again, and it's going to automatically install everything out of those zip folders, into the game. Now since I already installed it, this shouldn't do any damage, and I haven't played anything yet, so it should be okay. Okay, now I got this message. I just want to be clear. I don't know if this is correct, but I got this map slash starcraft mass recall slash scmr cinematic player dot sc2 map is missing i think that's the old cinematic player and there's a new one and you don't need this one anymore and for some reason it still comes up as an error or something so anyway press any key now you don't open the game with your battlenet app there's going to be a little icon right on your desktop that happens automatically you're going to double click that and that should open up your mass recall ah my logo Alright. Oh, beautiful. That is the original StarCraft 1 box art. I remember it oh so well. This is so cool. I'm really excited to, to play this. It's been a long time since I played the original StarCraft. Awesome. So, yep, these are the first three. These three were StarCraft, the original. And then Brood War was these three. Terran Zerg, Protoss. Protoss, Terran Zerg. And then down in Extras. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Loomings. So let me tell you guys real quick. When I was a kid, my grandfather had a Macintosh, one of those old Macintoshes, like the gray box Macintosh, you know what I mean? And he was subscribed to a, a, a magazine, I forgot
forgot what it was called, but it was for Macintosh uh, users. It was a Macintosh magazine. And every month it came, it also came with a disc. It had like some applications and things like that for Macintosh users, but it also had game demos on the disc. And one of the demos it had was the demo for StarCraft 2. I mean, StarCraft 1. The demo for StarCraft. Before StarCraft even came out, before I even knew what StarCraft was, what Blizzard was, what anything was, I was playing this demo for this game over and over and over. I loved it. I used to play it so many times. It was just a free demo. It was six missions long. The first one's a bit of a training one. Six missions long. It had a little bit of a setup to a story. You know, humans fighting each other. All of a sudden there's aliens. Things are going crazy. I loved it. And then I remember when I was in the store and I saw the box for StarCraft, and I'm like, that's that game that I've been playing the demo for, and I got it, and I've, I've been a StarCraft fan ever since. And someone act, not only did they remake the original game, I can now go back and play those demo missions. I've never, I haven't played these missions since I was a child. I don't even know how old. I am so excited to play these again. I remember. Oh my god, it was so long ago. Okay. So you see here it says zero, because that's a prequel. This takes place before the main story. And then seven, it says Stukov series, which I'm assuming, since it's seven, it takes place after the sixth one. This takes place after Rune War. I never played this. I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's, someone mentioned that there was missions that Blizzard didn't put in, and this was supposed to be them. I'm not sure. I'm so excited for this. And then uh, I just want to go over a couple more things. There's st a stats button here where you can you can look at your campaign stats, which is awesome. There's a codex, which will come up with all, every time, now I haven't played anything since so I'm here yet, but every time you, unlock, you use a unit or you're on a planet or something, you see for the first time, it'll unlock in the codex. There's a whole codex here with everything. And now in options, there's a few things here. I just want to go over them. Brood War Tech. Uh, this just allows the Brood War Tech to be used in the first three um, campaigns because they, you know, Brood War had medics and lurkers. The first three didn't. I don't want those things. I'd rather have it be how uh, it was at least a little bit bigger because I know there's some other stuff here. Uh, the same. Extra hero abilities. I don't know what that means. We're going to see some hero abilities. Hidden missions I've never seen before. I am 
I'm so excited to get started on this. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope if uh, you have any problems installing, you can, you can figure it out. And I hope, I hope I've been a little bit of a help that it's really easy to install. So you guys shouldn't have too many problems. There's forums on that site to help you guys out. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and tune in for my gameplay footage. And if you haven't already, check out my StarCraft 2 gameplay footage. I just finished it. It took me about a month, and I, but I got through the whole game, including the Nova uh, Covert Ops. Uh, great, fun time, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one.